Sunday afternoon hockey here at Indiana Farmers Coliseum on RTV6. Toledo jumps to a one to nothing lead. With me is Jim Hallett, Indy Fuel chairman, grew up north of the border in Canada, played a lot of hockey, now you own the team. Second here, here with the Fuel, and I know we just couldn't seem to buy a goal in period number one despite all those chances. Man, I'll tell you what, that's been the story of the uh, first part of our season is not being able to score big goals in critical situations. You know, we outshoot the other team uh, significantly, and uh, it's kind of been a trend, but uh, hopefully we'll get it turned around here soon. It's been an exciting year, though, for the Fuel. A great start, winning nine games right off the get-go. Six in a row here at home. They've got the ingredients for a strong team in front of head coach Scott Hillman. I think we got off to a great start, and uh, the team played really, really well, as you mentioned, right out of the gate. And then we got hit with kind of a rash of injuries, and then we got a number of call-ups all at the same time, and we know that's going to happen to every team over the course of a season, but it seems all of our injuries and all of our call-ups came right at the same time and were decimated with uh, the loss of six players there, and we went on that road trip. We were playing seven games in ten days, and uh, it didn't turn out so well, but uh, hopefully... Um, we're making some changes here, and uh, hopefully we'll get things turned around here as we go into the Christmas break and uh, get back on track. The Fuel is the affiliate of the NHL's Stanley Cup champions, the Chicago Blackhawks. Rockford is between Indy and Chicago and the American Hockey League. There's been a lot of movement between Indy and Rockford, but Jim, tell us about the support that you've gotten from the Blackhawks here as you, as you build this team here in year two. You know, the Blackhawks have just been a class organization, uh, good folks to work with and very dedicated to helping their affiliate here in, in Indianapolis. I think that, you know, what we have to deal with, we have to deal with injuries at the NHL level and they trickle to the AHL level and those injuries eventually trickle to us. So when there's an injury up top, that eventually is going to have an impact on us. And uh, that's what we are. We're a developmental league and it's uh, our job is to support AAA above us and NHL above that. And... Uh, it's just part of the uh, it's part of the deal that you sign up with. But the uh, Blackhawks have just been a tremendous organization. We've got a lot of things to look forward to coming up, and one of them is Blackhawks night coming up here uh, after we get through this Christmas break in January. You know, that's always an exciting evening for us. We had Blackhawks night last year, and we had Bobby Hull here, and that was a great crowd and a great evening. Uh, this year, I know we've got a lot of things planned. I know we're still working through a lot of the confirmations, but uh, the Blackhawks are going to be very, very supportive. I know we're going to be able to utilize a lot of their resources and their people will be probably joining us here in Indianapolis and uh, we'll have a great evening for the Hawks. There's a lot of Hawks fans in this town. Certainly and a lot of them came out to see the Stanley Cup that was here about a month ago in this building. A lot of the trophies, a lot of history in this game brought to Indy from the Hall of Fame on a very special night. It was a special night and I think to have the Stanley Cup in our building and for our uh, fans to be able to be up close and to see the cup, touch the cup, have your picture taken with the most iconic trophy in all of professional sports. Uh, just a fantastic opportunity and great for the organization but great for our fans and uh, great for the city as well. Fans who followed hockey for a while will remember that you on the team back when the last title on the pro level was won with the guy who's with me in the booth, Mike Fruget, skating with that team, uh, put 13 wins in a row together, had a tough first half, great second half in winning the Moran Cup that year. Yeah, you know, it was a great uh, second half of the season, and you know, we had a great second half of the season last year. Uh, so we know we're gonna make a few tweaks here at Christmas, um, and uh, you know, we'll look for some changes, uh, make the team a little bit stronger, a little bit better. We just recently brought in a kid from Europe, and uh, as we go forward, uh, maybe a few tweaks here and there, and we're gonna make a strong run here in the second half of the year, and uh, hopefully uh, we're gonna get ourselves in the playoff spot, and uh, we won't disappoint our fans. We look forward to that. Jim, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jim. All right, Merry Christmas to you, and let's root for a big win here thank the you. rest of the afternoon. Okay, thank you. Jim Hallett with us more from Indiana Farmers Coliseum. In a moment, Toledo leading at one nothing. a good strong first period for the Fuel. This is Indy Fuel Hockey on RTV6.